Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are bringing Vegeta back. I am, um, I'm, <laughs> I need to get this leader to work, right? I so far um zero for two on recorded games. I am pr pretty bad on the record, to be honest. I don't know the exact record, but pretty bad off the uh, off the the recorded games as well. Um, me and the guys at the locals, we've been we've been chatting about this deck, right? And James had a really good idea that we actually just don't charge past four energy, right? We don't look to double strike, we just look to poke the opponent down, keep control of the board, and we essentially draw two every turn once we hit that four energy. So as soon as we hit four energy, we just don't charge again, and then we get a draw for turn, we get a draw and attack, right? So I've put together a build which hopefully makes use of that. Um, this is not James's build, this is purely my build, just going off of the same logic on we, we don't play anything bigger than a 4-drop. Um, so we're going to see how this goes, right? We're up against Cell in the first game. Mm. Yeah, we can keep this. So green's going to be a, quite a slow match for us, so it kind of plays into our strategy a little bit. Um, we'll just see how we get on once we get to... Uh, yeah, I could imagine this being pretty slow. For Cell in particular, uh, yeah, with Cell in particular as well. Um, I think we just charge this Gohan for now. We run four of them, so we'll, we'll likely see another one. There. This, besides being combo power, is pretty useless in this match, to be honest. Of course, we take. No, oh, okay. We definitely don't need that many this early on, so. In charge one. Uh, I think we're going to play the Bulma. Do we play the Bulma and do we take the life or do we just wait? No. I think I think if we're going to self awaken this turn, we do the Naze, right? We have Vegeta as well for the next turn, which is perfect, because then we can play the Bulma off the Vegeta. So that suits me a bit better. Then we'll just play the Naze and I think we just pass here. I don't really see the point in attacking into him. Now, the hardest part for me is not charging because I have played decks where I just charge constantly so it's going to be like muscle memory at this point where I'm just going to accidentally <laughs> hit that button <laughs> or rather hit the uh, just hit something but we'll see. Okay, so we have a 4-drop Goku as well. Our hand's looking pretty stacked, right? We just save this this card here for when he actually plays out a big threat. Um, I think we do charge a cooler as much as I hate to do it. I don't want to charge any super combos. I kind of want to keep these for now. Yeah, I think we can charge one. Uh... Yeah, I think we just go now for broke kind of thing. Do we? Is it even worth it? Yeah, I think we do. We do this either way, right? We just fell off the board. May as well self awaken on that one. Cool. So we'll attack with Vegeta first, um, we'll do the Bulma just to draw a card, we're obviously not looking to take any lives here. Perfecto. And then we're not going to attack with Naze, just in case he tries to attack into the Bulma. And then we leave him on five here. We're not. We're definitely not awakening him this turn just because he's about to hit four, presumably into five. So it's not worth the attack here. So if he if he pays four for the uh, the extra card, um, obviously he'll ramp off the extra, go to five, and then had we awakened him, he could have used his lead skill to go to six. So we delay that by one turn. And then next turn we can just kind of go ham a little bit. And then, of course, we block this. Yeah, 
I'm going to give him the nays because I'm not playing it again because it is a self awakening card, so we may as well just keep the, the blocker alive. Gives us some attack threat going into this turn as well. Yeah, so we knew that the Cell Games Arena was coming, pretty much. And if he didn't, it meant that he was kind of going off curve. So, I'm fine with this. I think we just charge the Bulma. Actually, we could technically play another one and just really power up our draws here. I think that's honestly the better play. So, I think I'm going to charge this. And this will be our final charge. Um, yeah, I think we do that. Because we could just play the Vegeta, theoretically, here. We could establish the cooler. With him going to 6, I honestly think the cooler's the better play. It just means that his androids can't just kill it for free, right? So I think that's definitely the play. Once again, we do not take the life. We get the draw. Perfecto. We just leave it there. Okay. What we have to be careful of is the cells, right? The cells are going to be an absolute nightmare for us to deal with. Um, it's not. It's not once they're on board. It's literally the on-play effect that's going to be the pain. Um, We're just going to have to be a bit smarter with how we play this. Um, yeah, I think we just cooler here. It's it's better to cooler, I think, just because if you if you play the androids, um, yes, you can only clear two of them. Mm, it's a it's a tough one, honestly. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at thirty. Going down to two. Now, he has no idea what build I'm playing here, right? So this is a very strange decision, to go to 2. <laughs> what I would love to see is my blue power awakening as well, just for when he does play the androids. We can just tap 2 and kill it. Kami. Okay, so no droids then. But what I'm assuming is the 5 drop Gohan to pop the cooler. Which honestly is probably the better play. I mean, we protect this because he can't kill this stuff with skills, right? So, let's just do this. He can't kill anything with skills. I honestly forgot about that for a second when I was talking about um, whether or not we played Vegeta or Cooler there. I completely forgot that that protects all battle cards and rest. It's been so long since I've actually played this card. Every time I play this leader, I very rarely see this card on curve. Okay, so he's going to 8 next turn. Um, which is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. But once again, we just swing with everything here. Um, I'm probably going to Vegeta and Bulma again. And we'll just try and get some draws here. Well, that's, that's a problem, because he's going to have two attacks in the Bulma. But he chose not to attack. Okay. Well, we'll take that. We'll take the freebie there. That was a strange one. 
I mean, straight away we just do this, right? Oh, we charged! We charged! See? I told you, I knew that that was going to be a problem. I knew that was going to be a problem because I just can't help myself. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, we'll just, we'll leave these at 20. He's just going to combo these off, but honestly, we have, besides tapping one for this to rest it down, what's the point? But it's fine. Sorby's actually good. I think we just keep poking for 20s here. Um, again, we'll Vegeta and another Bulma. And then we could also Sorby as well. Technically, we could double Bulma. Double Bulma with this. Okay, right. What the fuck does he have in hand? <laughs> so we would have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70k. And we could stack this in a way that we could play out the Sorbys and both the Bulmas. To give us three additional draws on the attack. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60... Actually, no, sorry, so we would ignore these two. This one would come in, though. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so it would be 95, so that would be 110 plus whatever three draws we get. I don't think it's enough. He's got one open energy, right? It's not enough. I do think we still do the same route we were thinking. So we'll do the Sorbet into... Okay, we do have another cooler though. Do we cooler instead of... Hmm. I'm just going to combo this. It's It was so irrelevant because it's one super combo and he's out. But honestly, it's not going to be in rest mode. Meaning, whatever he plays, he's going to target to kill anyway. So I honestly, I think I cooler here. I think we cooler rather than doing the Vegeta and the Bulma. I think the cooler's a smarter choice. We'll just try and keep some tall board, uh, tall attackers on board. And again, with everything being in rest mode, Vegeta's protecting us. It can't really do anything. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that there. Here's the thing, we can time rewind this and stand it. And then at that point, he can't kill it. Oh wait, no, because he could remove it by skills, right? Yeah, so we have to keep it. Okay, cool. That's fine, we'll just pass here. Remember, don't goddamn charge. Don't charge, don't charge. I need to get like a stick it note or something and just stick it on the monitor. See, it's such a habit because every deck I play, like, and most decks I'm playing at the minute are blue, so it's just a habit to just consistently charge. Good job, bro. Okay. Now, the problem is defending the Vegeta. But honestly, I'm willing to let this die. Just and then next turn we maybe re-establish it again. Um, we can defend this though. That's the thing. I could easily defend this card. And I think now we do the time rewound because it means that he can't attack into it, and he's tapped out, so you can't kill it. I think that's the better play. So now we untap it. Uh, I want to keep that just in case, so let's use... Oh, wait. Actually, I want to keep that as well in case we need to lock it down. So, I think we just give him one. We give him one of these. So, 
So now we can't attack into it. Um, and yeah, of course we just save this. Adding to hand, of course. 12 in hand. Still going to be difficult for us to kill him, I think. Right, skip charge. Skip charge. There we go, we did it, boys. We fucking did it. <laughs> right, and then we'll get the draw straight away off the Bulma. And then that just kind of sets our turn once we see this. So another Bulma. Jesus Christ. We're just going to keep prodding for 20s, I think. And I think the, the option this time is the Goku, and we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll lock him down. Another super combo, always nice to see. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of extra cards this game. I do run like 10 of them as well. I think I'm going to play one of the Bulmas, um, just because this is going to be a tap 4. I, whichever choice we do here, whether it's the Cooler or the Goku, it's a tap 4. Um, so we may as well do this. We'll get a draw on this one as well. I mean, it doesn't matter. So... Theoretically, we could go very large in this next attack with him being tapped out, but we, I don't think we've seen any super combos, have we? We have not. We've seen one, sorry, one super combo. And he hasn't ramped any, I believe. No, he hasn't. So, let's do the math quickly, right? We've got three minutes to make this decision. So, if we tap two, play the next two Bulmas... That leaves us on two open energy, which means that our turn is basically dead, right? But, actually, we could also tap two for this. No, because I kind of want to keep the energy open for this, actually. So, let's say we tap two. When we attack with the cooler, we take both the life, and then we draw two. So, we take a life for each one, then we draw two. And then, what do we have in terms of power just in hand? So, that'd be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80... 85, 100 just on that, plus we would have 4 additional cards in hand to pull from. Oh, it's so tempting. It's so goddamn tempting. I don't think we can. I think we just play this safe. I think we swing again, and then we Goku and we lock down. I think that's just honestly the best play. What I might do is throw a 10 on this, though. Just to really take out his hand a little bit. Mm. Yeah. We'll go 40. We'll just... We'll make it at least two cards from him. I think we've played this pretty well. And again, I think it's because Yellow actually... And I know I said it in the first video. Um... But I think Yellow does have a really good match into green. Or at least this leader in particular has a good match into green. Just because of the Vegetas. Like, the Vegetas are such a strange card in Frieza. Because you essentially never want to untap your battle cards. So such a weird... I don't know. It just doesn't feel natural to put that into that leader. Um, and then obviously we've still got Cooler. I suppose it, I suppose it works in Cooler. Double Super Combo. Honestly, the fact he double super comboed there, that screams that he has nothing in hand. But again, we're going to play it safe. He can't kill our battle cards through effect, so... Lock it down. I 
Yeah, whatever. And so what, just to be cheeky? Actually, no, because I want that for the end game. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go 30. I want to keep both of these for the end game. Um, because we still have another cooler as well. So between the like two of them, that's five energy. But I think putting this at 30, since he double super comboed, he is going to instant come in my which is fine, but he is now not going to be able to tap it because this comes into rest mode. So we have nothing to worry about this time. Well, I say that, he can still charge, but again, five in hand, he's not going to be able to do anything to us. So we have two supers. Um, honestly, I'm just going to defend the Vegeta. Um, if he can't kill the Vegeta, he can't kill anything. Forty five, eh? Well, that was a good try, buddy, but no. And the fact he used his energy means he has no 8 energy play now as well. So this was a pretty easy game to be honest. It was pretty straightforward because that comes in rest. <laughs> what are you KOing buddy? What are you KOing? Yeah that's what I thought. Do you know what? I might be nice and I might even just give you it. I might be nice. At this point, I might just give you it. Drop, we will. We'll give you some hope. Tap one, board wipe. Imagine. Oh, this is going to be a great turn. I'm looking forward to this turn. We theoretically could charge the six, right? There is there is now a reason to, but we're not going to. We're just going to do what we said. We're going to Bulma. Gonna Bulma. We're going to attack with this Goku first. Ah, we'll lock you down. And then skill. Take the life, draw one. Awesome. Skill. Take the life, draw one. Skill. Take the life, draw one. <laughs> we can't use it, so... <laughs> Actually, we still can, we just don't take the life. Skill. Don't take the life. Draw one. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. And then, do you know what? Let's, let's make that a 50k. There we go. We'll leave that at 50, I guess. Eh. Yep. Enjoy, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that worked. I think, I definitely think going that route is far better. I think it's far safer. Um, you just really, really can't. You, you have to see your Vegeta's. You absolutely have to see your Vegeta on curve. Um, but against red, the Vegeta doesn't really do anything. Because, again, everything that they do is just negging power. It's just, you're not going to really get there. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the build that I've put together. Um, I'm sure there are better ways to do this. I, I haven't properly looked into the um, to the yellow cards again. And I, I think I need to maybe adjust my extra ratios. I might just go 4-4-4, four, four, and four, honestly. Um, or I might look to put in the Golden Death Beam again, just to deal with the Android 17 for that red matchup. But... Um, so we run four Bulma's, four Sorbets, four Freeza one drops, four Nades, mainly because it's a 10k combo. Um, self awakening. Unless I'm playing green, I tend not to worry about self awakening. Um, and then we've got Android 18. So this is the one that we choose one of our opponent's battle cards on play and when attacking. We choose one of our opponent's battle cards and we switch it to rest. Um, I'm not a massive fan of this card, but it is a 10k combo. It is an attacker. 
and it is a way for us to rest our opponent's board. So, you know, if, if our opponent is trying to, for example, if we don't have this one-drop freeze on hand, um, and if they're trying to, you know, just use the Android 17 in active mode and they're just refusing to swing with it, we have a way now where we can put it in rest and then there are ways that we can deal with it. And I think I am going to have to put in golden death beams into this. I definitely think we're going to have to find a way to fit them in. Um, and then we run four go hands. This is the one that's on play. We choose one of our opponent's battle cards and it can't switch to active mode for the t until the end of the next turn. Um, it's basically this, this Goku lock on this card, right? It's why it's in here, it's a 5k combo, which I don't like, um, but still. And then four Vegeta's, so this Vegeta is the one that protects our battle cards in rest mode. It's ridiculous, when we build, build a wide board and then we just defend this Vegeta, they can't do anything. Like, realistically, green in particular can't do anything. Um, and then four coolers and four Gokus, those are our four drop packages. And then four supers, four time rewound, four death balls. And two blue power awakening. I do think I am going to try and squeeze in a couple of death beams. Just for me, it's just in case we come across the red match. And if we don't, it's just a charge target. But I think that we need a way of easily dealing with the Android 17. Um, and locking it down does nothing. We need to kill that card. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. But there will likely be some ratio changes the next time I bring this video, but this is, this is the list that we're working with. And like I said, the, the main strategy behind this deck was to not charge beyond five. I made the mistake, I did it, but um, the idea is just to go four. Four energy, four energy, and just every turn we tap out or we close to tap out, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we just obviously untap the energy and we sit back on the extra cards, right? That's kind of the idea behind the deck. Um, and yeah, I, I, I do think that, that the guys are right. I think that that's probably the smarter way to play this leader. I think once you charge to four and then you can just keep drawing two cards a turn from your draw for turn and your leader swing. Plus, like you saw there, if we have Bulmas on board, we get additional draws as well. So it's, it just kind of depends on the matchup, of course. But I think not charging beyond five and not going to your double strikers and the six drop Frieza, it has its uses. It, it's very good into green for sure. But I, for me, six energy just to kill anything on the, on the field and... It's a 40k attacker. Yes, it locks your opponent out. Uh, I think I think in a non top coup meta, the secret rare is really good. I just think in a top coup meta, it's terrible because everything they play is four or less, right? So it, it literally does nothing to them, and it's a zero k combo if I'm not mistaken as well. Um, so yeah, you're just taking up deck space for a dead card. So that's that's my take on it anyway. So this is why we came with this list, but. Guys, give it a try. Um, also, you know, if you, if you do stick to the four energy, um, get, you know, just try different ratios. Try whatever works for you. Different extra cards, whatever you guys want to do. Just give it a try and see how you feel about it. But I do prefer this build much more than I prefer the other ones I've put together for sure. Um, yeah, so. But guys, thank you all for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.